Hello everyone and welcome to True Gaming's first tutorial video. I'm Ben Zucker, founder and CEO of True Gaming. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to access your new game server and navigate our online server control panel. Alright, so first what we're going to want to do is go to cpanel.truegaming.com which will bring you to our login screen. So you're going to want to enter your username and password that came in your welcome email and then fill out the CAPTCHA because we don't like robots. All right. So once you're inside the panel, um, there's a few things you can do. If you want to change your password from what your original one was, then you can go into account security, enter your current password and your new password. Um, and then if you want, you can also enable two-step verification. Um, up here under my profile, you can enter or edit any of the information um, that you want in here, address, city, state, stuff like that. No one else can see that but us, so um, there's really no need for it, but you can enter if you want to. Also, I do suggest changing your time zone. All right, under email notifications, you'll see that all of your, um, any emails that come from within TC Admin about your game services will show up here. So um, this one is the new game server setup and this one is the um, TeamSpeak. So basically these are just letting you know um, that the service has been set up for you. Also, TC Admin monitors um, all the game services. So if something happens to one of your servers or um, like this one says query failure, um, so it, it failed to respond one time. Basically, it's just letting you know so that you can hop on and make sure that everything is cool. All right. Uh, after that, uh, we have what's called user management. Um, so if you have a clan and you have a bunch of people and uh, let's say you have a few servers, you can create um, sub users and you can grant them access to whichever game services that you want. Um, and you can let them do specific things or not let them do specific things. And once again, you can add their information and their username and password for them. And they will log in using the same exact panel, the cpanel.truegaming.com. All right, so next is uh, where to find your game services at. So you're gonna click on game services here on the left column. Um, by the way, if any of these are hidden, all you have to do is just click the little arrow um, or click the bar and they'll show up. So once we click on game services, um, since I only have one game service, the only one that's the only one that's gonna pop up. Um, if I have multiple game services, then you would see a list um, and then you could click on the individual one. So uh, for here, I set up a test uh, 20 slot armor three server. Um, this main page gives you all the information like the name of your server. Um, this is where your IP address is. So when you go into armor three or whatever game you're playing, uh, you can search by IP and port. Um, this is the query information port, really not necessary for you guys, um, unless you want to use like GameTracker.com, you might have to input a, a query info port. Um, and then this is your FTP port, which we'll talk about in another video um, that's used for modding and stuff. Basically, it's the back end of your server where your actual files are. Um, and then this right here is your status, so it will say it's either running or if it stopped, it will say stopped. Um, just going to start it back up here and then this right here will tell you how long it's been running for um, and then obviously you can start and stop those are pretty self-explanatory um, scheduled tasks um, every game kind of has different scheduled tasks that you can add uh, you can do a scheduled restart or a system update or purge logs um, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a separate video um, and then actions if you add something to your server or you feel like something's wrong with your server and you just want to do a fresh install of it then you can come in here and just click reinstall it will delete all of your files from your server and will reinstall the service as if it was brand new all right um, so over here on the side um, this will tell you obviously self-explanatory how many players um, are on the server um, cpu it'll tell you the percentage of the cpu that it's using memory um, and bandwidth and if you click auto refresh, then it will auto update. Sometimes this player count here gets a little um, finicky, but uh, it, 
if if it continues to be an issue, you can always submit a, a, a support ticket, which we'll talk about how to do that in a few minutes. Um, next, and probably the most important part of your server is um, your configuration files. So if you click uh, this button, you always want to stop your server too before you edit any configuration files. Um, so when you click on configuration files, you'll have every game will have different configuration files and different ways to change them. Um, for people who are more familiar with um, configuration files, you can use the text editor. And basically it's just a, uh, you can see the whole text file in here and edit specific things that you want to. Um, so if you're not as familiar with um, text editors or um, I'm sorry, with configuration files, then you can use the configuration editor, uh, which basically lays it out um, with just a few simple things that you can change, like the name of your server, your Archon password, um, if the server is private or not, um, and then the map name, and then just other little things in here, and it will automatically input those into the text file for you. Alrighty, and after the configuration file, uh, the other thing I'm just going to touch on real quick, um, actually two more things, uh, is the command line manager, which um, basically this is what, for Arma 3 at least, which most games have a command line, but for Arma 3 this tells you or tells the game exactly um, how it's going to start and if you're going to load any mods or anything like that so the default command line is in there for you we've created that that'll be um, as i said the default one if you want to create your own then you come over here to custom command lines new um, and then you can just make a little description for it um, you know like uh, my modded and then um, there's a whole bunch of different options down here for you and this is where you'd add your mods um, but we'll talk about that in another one and then when you click save it'll pop up and um, you can activate it uh, over here is the mod manager um, I know one of the biggest things that everyone um, kind of gets confused about or that feedback we've gotten from our beta was that uh, modding is a little bit difficult um, it is, and the only way to learn how to mod is to honestly, you know, get out there, read forms, um, and, you know, Google things and, and kind of find your own way. Um, but there are some mods that we do have one click installs for. Um, for Arma 3, uh, A3 Wasteland and CBA A3 are two of them. Um, if you don't play Arma 3, then I don't expect you to know what I'm talking about. But uh, if you do, those are two kind of bigger mods that CBA is required for almost everything and A3 Wasteland is a is a big mod out there um, and we'll have a lot more coming um, there's you know we're going through a lot of stuff so we don't have the time to sit down and add 700 mods to every single game so um, we will more than happy to add them upon request um, so if you have one you can submit a support ticket and uh, we'll take a look at it and, and help you out with that but we'll dive a lot more into modding in our next video and last but not least, this is the support section. Um, so under support section, uh, you can look at your support tickets. Um, if you'd like to open a new ticket, then you can click new up here or you can click open a new ticket. Um, there's some options here. Uh, just pick the one that fits the best. It doesn't necessarily have to be spot on, but uh, it just gives us an idea of who to direct the support ticket to. Um, and then priority. I know everyone, uh, you know, when something goes wrong with their server, it's it's a high priority. But please pick this um, accordingly because someone may be having a bigger issue than than you. And if your service is still running and usable, then we'd like to get someone else's up and running that isn't. Um, and then just what related service you have, um, and then the subject of it, and then just the message. Very simple. And you can choose a file um, if you want to upload any text, uh, configuration files, log files and any pictures. Um, we're more than happy to take a look at that. Um, the more information you give us, the easier it is for us to help you out. And once you're done, then you just click create and it will pop up to um, our support ticket system on our end and we will begin to help you. Uh, also, I'm gonna jump back real quick to voice services. Um, if you did purchase a voice service, it would be under here. Uh, for this situation, I just set up a, a 10 slot TeamSpeak 3, just a test server. Uh, really not much to do here uh, you can restart the server stop the server uh, the teamspeak browser is in here so um, for those of you that are familiar with teamspeak you can uh, change the name of it the welcome message um, things like that private and password protected 
Um, I will say that um, in some of the game servers, uh, just like like in Arma and the configuration files, you can edit the amount of slots. Uh, TC Admin monitors that. So if you purchased a 40 slot server, don't change the slots because it will kill your server. It will TC Admin will continuously shut your server down over and over until it's back within those parameters. Um, same thing goes for TeamSpeak. So if you want to purchase more, then you know we're more than happy to help you out with that. But please don't try and change it on your own because it, it will cause your service problems. Um, and then uh, and create tokens. So when you log into uh, TeamSpeak, this will be your token to become the server admin. Um, for those of you that are familiar with TeamSpeak, that will make sense. And you can see users who are on their bands, and then you can also add or delete channels from within this as well. Thank you for choosing TrueGaming.com. We appreciate your support. We're always open to your input and suggestions. If you're ever in need of anything, please submit a support ticket and one of our true staff members will get back to you as soon as possible.